hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's DIY project we'll be making this beautiful vase uh, we're going to be faking a high-end look with a Dollar Tree glassware and I'm going to be using this ombre vase that the Dollar Tree has and it's six inches long but we're going to enhance it some more and I'm going to be using a cone and I'm just using my scissors to cut off that extra lip from around the cone the Dollar Tree also sells cones but this one I got from Amazon it's the same price basically just have to buy more and this is how I'll measure how much of my cone to cut I place my glass vase down into my cone and I'm going to be cutting a half an inch away from where that vase stop and I'm just using my exacto knife to make the cut Now I'm done making the cut and I'll place the vase inside and you can see it's half an inch away. And the measurement for my cone is exactly five inches. Next I'll use my leveling tool to make sure that it's straight and I'll just use my exacto knife to carve off the excess pieces and make sure that it's sitting properly. And now that's good enough to work with and it should be sitting right on top of the vase just like so and then I'm gonna use my hot glue to hold it in place and I'm also making sure that it's straight before the hot glue dries And the hot glue is just a temporary hold next I'll use my e6000 for the permanent hold and I'll just apply that on the inside and now you can see the contact from that e6000 and I'll leave it to dry overnight now it's all dried so I'll just use my box cutter to remove that hot glue And then I'll just use my box cutter to carve off the excess cone from around the lip of my vase. Now it's time to paint and I'm just going to spray paint it and I'm using a little alcohol to wipe it before I do so. And to spray paint the vase I'm using Rust-Oleum 2X. And I used a flat spray paint instead of gloss because I'll be adding more paint. I'll be adding acrylic paint. Well actually these are interior paint, uh, paint samples from the Home Depot. And I'll be adding two shades of gray and I'm just gonna use a flat foam brush and a stippling brush and I'm just gonna dab the colors on just watch as I do so okay we're gonna create layers and add some dimension And I'll just continue to go right around with that same stippling motion, blotting out any harsh lines. And this is a completed look. And then I'll go over it with some of my acrylic paint from Folk Art. It's my metallic gold. And I'm using the same brush and I'm doing the same stippling motion. And I'm just trying to blend all the paints together. And I'll just continue doing that all the way around so that's one round of my gold and now I'll go over again with my lightest gray and you can see the difference with this small area that I did so I'll just continue going all the way around I just want to blend all the grays and the gold together so they can look cohesive and still have that dimension
and now I'm done blending and I'm just using a small brush to add my gold right at the edge of my vase. I really love the way this project turned out. I hope you love it as well. If you do, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe as this will help my channel to grow. And I would love to hear from you guys. What would you have done differently with this DIY? Please let me know in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye.